Welcome to Book Express, where we give you a quick summary of books we find interesting. Have you ever wondered what the world would look like if globalization collapsed? A daunting question indeed, and one that Peter Zihan explores in his book, The End of the World is Just the Beginning, Mapping the Collapse of Globalization. Zihan presents a world where globalization as we know it has ended and the consequences are far-reaching. But it's not all doom and gloom, there's a new dawn on the horizon. So what does Zayon mean when he says the end of the world is just the beginning? Globalization didn't just happen, it had pillars that held it up. Imagine, if you will, a grand structure supported by three sturdy beams. Security, resources, and population. Security, the first pillar, provided a sense of safety for nations to trade and interact. Resources, the second pillar, fueled the engine of global markets, enabling nations to thrive. The third and final pillar, population, ensured a steady supply of consumers and workers, vital for economic growth. Yet, according to Zeihan, this grand structure of globalization teeters on the brink of collapse as these pillars start to crack under their own weight. But what happens when these pillars crumble? Scene script, imagine a world without globalization. What would it look like? Picture this. Economies, once intertwined, now isolated and struggling to survive. Trade routes that once flowed freely are now choked with tension and mistrust. Nations once united by common goals are divided by self-interest and a mutual suspicion. The collapse of globalization, as Peter Zeihan paints it, is not a smooth transition, but a chaotic freefall. Economic instability would be the first domino to fall, leading to a domino effect of crises. Countries reliant on global trade would find their economies in jeopardy, with skyrocketing unemployment and plummeting markets. Next, political instability. Governments would struggle to maintain control as they grapple with the economic fallout, leading to civil unrest and potential regime changes. Last but not least, social instability. With rising poverty and declining living standards, societal structures could crumble, leading to an increase in crime and social unrest. It seems like a bleak picture, doesn't it? But there's more to it. In every chaos, there is an opportunity. In every end, there is a beginning. In the aftermath of the collapse, Peter Zeihan envisions a new world order rising like a phoenix from the ashes of globalization. This new era will not be marked by despair but by innovation. The world will be shaped not by the old but by those who dare to adapt, to think differently, to challenge the status quo. This new order will also be characterized by a shift in cooperation. No longer will the world be bound by the rigid structures that marked the age of globalization. Instead, we'll see a more flexible form of collaboration, one that allows for the unique strengths of each nation to shine through. Zeihan's vision is not one of doom and gloom, but a beacon of hope, a world where the collapse of an old order paves the way for a new, more resilient one, so the end of the world isn't the end after all, it's a new beginning. So, what's the takeaway from Zeihan's compelling vision? In the heart of Zeihan's narrative, there lies a profound message, the world as we know it is changing. The pillars of globalization that once held us together are crumbling, and in their place, chaos looms. But it's not the end, rather, it marks the onset of a new era. The collapse of globalization isn't necessarily a catastrophe, it's a paradigm shift. It's a transition from a world that's interconnected to one that's more localized. This shift towards localization means that we will be relying more on our immediate surroundings, it will lead us to innovate, to become more self-sufficient, and to utilize our local resources more efficiently. Moreover, this shift can make us more resilient. In a world where every nation is an island, we will learn to weather storms on our own. We'll develop robust systems capable of withstanding shocks. We'll build societies that are self-reliant, self-sustaining, and ready for any challenge. And yet, it's not just about survival, but about thriving in this new world order. It's about harnessing the potential of our local communities, about fostering innovation and resilience right where we are. It's about reimagining our world, not as a global village, but as a tapestry of localized, self-sufficient communities. This new beginning might seem daunting, but remember, every ending is a chance for a new start. It's a chance to build a world that's more sustainable, more resilient, and perhaps more harmonious. Remember, the end of the world is just the beginning. It's up to us to make the most of it. If you like to hear summaries of books you're contemplating reading, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.